2005 doing community work uh, that Kent, the Honorable Kent Heron and I met. And so it is my pleasure to introduce, representing the Government of Canada, the Honorable Kent Heron, Member of Parliament for Calgary Centre. But it's great to be here, and who here believes in giving women and girls a real fair and real and fair chance at success is an important government priority. <laughs> and who believes that in order to have a real and fair chance of success, people need a home from which they can build their lives? <laughs> well, then I am in the right place. It's a place to have a safe, secure, and supportive place that they can call home and start to put their lives back in order. It tells them that she matters. The YW has provided safe accommodation for over 100 years, and it was really back in 1910 that the four mothers of the YW met women at the train station, offering safe housing as they began their lives in this city called Calgary. Nothing is more important than a home. Across Canada, 1.7 million households are in core housing need, and their housing needs are not met by the current marketplace. To address this, the strategy has a number of new tools and investments that will create a new generation of housing across Canada. We know the situation is even worse for women who have traditionally faced more barriers to safe, affordable housing. The average rate of housing in need in Canada is 13% but it jumps to 28% in the case of female-led households. Those statistics are even more worrying when the lenses of disability, age, sexuality, and ethnicity are applied. Many facilities, um, which sounds like a no-brainer, but that is not what they have right now. And so these women will have a place where they can have a warm bath in the evening, uh, which also contributes to healing. Uh, they will have common kitchen areas so that they can build relationships as they heal and also contribute to reducing the isolation that is often felt by many women who are experiencing homelessness. This facility will serve as a beacon to those arriving at our doors in Inglewood. And it's not by chance that we chose Inglewood and uh, Jean-Carlo, I want to say thank you to you as well for what you've done to welcome us in this neighborhood. We are thrilled to be in Inglewood. Uh, and so it means a lot to us to be in community and for our women to be in community. We knew this would be an area that was welcoming. And we are proud partners in this project because we believe everyone deserves a real and fair chance to succeed. Supporting the most vulnerable Canadians is the top priority of the government of Canada. That's why at least 25% of the national housing strategy will support projects specifically targeting the unique needs of women and girls. The YW Calgary Hub facility will receive a financial contribution of over $4.7 million. In partnership with the YWCA, we understand that sometimes People need a hand up, hand up. And that's exactly what investing in housing does. It allows people a sense of dignity, a sense of purpose, and a place where they can truly build their lives. Because we know, I think we all understand, that without a place to live, this is downright impossible. I would be remiss if I did not know for the first time in a long time you have three levels of government, all singing from the same song sheet and putting real dollars into housing first. And I commend both the city, government, provincial government, for their leadership on this file. <laughs> We've already started rolling out key parts of the national housing strategy, and I'm excited to say that what's been announced so far is only a beginning. I would be remiss if I did not know that through the National Housing Strategy, 
we have already announced 500 affordable housing units right here in Calgary that are being built under this plan. This truly represents a re-engagement by the federal government in housing. A federal government that has been absent from the housing file. I want to congratulate everyone involved in this project, including the many partners in the room from different groups for helping build the dream of giving every Canadian a real fair chance of success by having a place where they can build their lives, a home. And thank you for the YW's leadership, their support of women fleeing domestic violence and giving people a real fair chance of success and a way out is admirable and is duly noted and applauded. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kent. We truly, truly are so honored to receive, and it's significant that the National Housing Strategy speaks to a third of that funding going to support women where they need it, where they need it most. And so we actually feel incredibly honored that this funding, along with our partners, will provide a beacon for all women, but particularly those experiencing poverty, homelessness, and fleeing domestic violence. 